craft beer is, it's more than just beer. It's more than liquid refreshment, an adult frothy beverage. It's a culture, it's a way of life, it's independence. It's going into a bar and drinking three different things and not necessarily to get drunk, but because you want to try, you want to explore and differentiate and it's, it's good. It's, it's what you want. I like to think the idea of Bang & Banjo started with the first batch that we homebrewed. And ever since that day, we kind of fell in love with the process and it was just so much fun getting together on a day and just being creative. Building out the brewery was something we've never done before, obviously. We were the general contractors for this, but here you are, you sign a lease on this space and then it's like, okay, go. And obviously the goal is to get open as fast as possible. Working with our team of contractors, friends, and family, we figured it out one piece of wood at a time. What drives me to pour my blood, sweat, and tears into this place is just to see that beer that we created, that we worked so hard to create, being enjoyed by people in our tap room and bringing people together and just making people feel happy. For whatever reason it is, watching people enjoy that beer is extremely rewarding. Collaborating with other breweries sort of brings us back to our roots with home brewing, where you can just grab a bunch of friends, get together, you're drinking beer, you're having a good time, you're, you're all contributing and you're making this beer together and that's really what craft beer is all about. It's making beer with your friends, it's making new friends, and creating something special. That, that's really what it's all about. When I think about our offerings, the different beers that we make, the one that stands out to me the most is our Goza, our anything Goza. A Goza is a German style wheat sour ale brewed with salt and coriander and what we love about it is that little bit of tartness and that salt just accentuates all the fruity flavors and different ingredients we use in our Goza. We constantly rotate that beer with the same base trying different ingredients. We do a festival once a year called our Anything Goza Festival where we'll bust out 30 to 40 of them and we just, we have fun with that beer and it's, it's something that's always different, that's on tap, that if, if you're coming to us for the first time, maybe you're traveling from out of town, you have got to try whichever one it is that we have on tap at that given day. small, you know, mom and pop brewery, if you will, that we're producing small batch, handcrafted beers. Everything we do back there is manual and we're using real ingredients. You know, come to Bang & Banjo if you want a very fresh, with natural, real ingredient, you know, tasty, adult frothy beverage, if you will. We uh, always change everything up and while we do have our staple beers, you never know what kind of IPA, Goza, barrel-aged stout, or other seasonal favorites we're gonna have on. Bang & Banjo can be found in West Pompano, right near Deerfield Beach in Coconut Creek. Uh, pretty much as far out west in Pompano Beach as you can go. Uh, in an industrial lot down the beaten path. Once you walk in though, you'll know you're in the right spot. You see how that alcohol finally kicked in enough and now it's less uh and uh like, <laughs> I should have had a drink when I first got here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> It's true though, that's how it fucking works. Take a shot of that whiskey first. Yeah. All right. All right. So, you guys are spreading.